Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1030. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. In this video, we want to talk about prices. We have these prices here, and we need to round to the nearest 50 bucks. We also want to talk about time values, which are always serial numbers between 0 and 1 underneath that number, that time number formatting. But we want to be able to round times to the nearest second. Now, in 2007, 10, and 13, there's the M round function. It is just flat out easy. M round, you give it the amount and then the multiple. I'm going to click there on that 50 and F4. Now to round up or down accordingly. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. So these all get rounded to the 50 bucks, right? 74.99, but as soon as it hits halfway between or above, it's going to go up to the next $50 increment. Now, in earlier versions, 2003, you had to use the round function. And actually, this is kind of conceptually interesting. You take the amount and divide it by the increment. F4 to lock it, Control Enter, double click and send it down. Now, that is number formatting. I'm going to wipe that away by applying the general number format. You could see all of these amounts here have point whatever, but they're all less than 0.5. And these are 0.5 or higher. So we can take this amount uh, created by dividing it by the increment and round it using the regular round function, which has been around forever, to the 0. The 0 says round to the integer. Control Enter. Now we get a bunch of 15s and 16s. And we can simply uh, column highlighted, active cell, hit the F2, and multiply that amount times the increment, F4. And I'm going to repopulate that edited formula into the column, Control Enter. So round and M round, great for pricing when you're rounding to uh, a certain amount or multiple. I have a few other rounding videos because there's other ways to round, so you might be interested in that. Now time. Time is always a number between 0 and 1. If I were to go up to the home and apply a time format, you could see that these are all uh, to the second. However, there's some extraneous decimals there which mess up some calculations. Now, if you don't understand serial numbers for time and date, here's a great one for time. It has 10 amazing examples. Control Z. Control Z. Well, we can certainly use the M round, but I already left that there. We got to figure out how many seconds there are in a day. Of course, there's 24 hours times 60 minutes times 60 seconds. So that'll be our number of seconds in a day. So I'm going to use the M round. M round, that's my time value, comma. And it's not to that amount right there. It's 1 divided by that. So we want 1. This is how many seconds in a day, and we want just one of them. Now, you know what? I'm going to hard code this in. I'm going to do a trick, hit F9, and hard code that number in. And that'll work. Now, notice we get slightly different numbers. And here's the thing about time that can be so confusing. If you really need rounded to the second, if you apply number format here, time, it'll all look the same. But the numbers under here are different than the numbers under here. Control Z. And then, of course, round, you'd have to do something slightly different. You take the actual time amount. And it's um, divided by 1 divided by this. So we simply multiply this, F4, comma, round to the 0. And then and this should be times 1 divided by this number. So simply going to divide by that number. Control Enter. Double click and send it down. And again, if you highlight all these, you know that uh, time or any number formatting is a facade. It only sits on top. The underlying I number sometimes can be quite different. So rounding to the second is sometimes important. All right, we'll see you next video.